crack let's crack 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 i have never done a reaction video before for uh for any of the um dc or marvel movies or anything like that but lately i've just been um you know just starting to do little bits of reactions here down everywhere because I, I never have the patience to wait to watch something um i just like to see it and go ah and then i saw i should have done maybe get, getting involved in reactions or or do something like that you know um outside just live streaming gaming and stuff like that so um so i've been waiting for this this okay my opinion on the original justice league movie I'm I'm a i am i am I like both. I like Marvel, I like DC, but I'm more DC fan because I prefer the individual universes that they create for each of their characters and I prefer the villains um more so. Especially Dark Side or Uxus. Right? Um so for me, um I I was disappointed with the first Justice League movie, but I, I still liked it because I get to see some of my favourite characters on screen, you know. Um uh, but you could see in it the difference of or you could see what Zach's work was and you could see what Joss Whedon's work was <laughs> besides the mustache you know so uh with regards to this um yeah I, I'm just I'm going to go in like the, I've seen the first well there was two trailers before this I don't know why this is called second trailer but there was like a, an initial teaser trailer maybe and now it's like there was official one trailer uh, a couple of weeks back or a few weeks back I know this is the final official trailer for Zack Snyder's Justice League, which is coming to HBO Max in the States. And I think it's coming to Sky Cinema and uh, Now TV in uh, in Ireland, where I am. Uh, I think it's the same in the UK as well, um, as far as I know, and maybe most of Europe. But um, yeah, man, I can't wait for Thursday. So... Uh, I've been waiting patiently to see this dude. So I am. Um, yeah, I went into a high. I, I went into it like with huge hopes. I, I read a review uh, by a guy. I, I'd have to look it up today. Um, Actually, I can look it up on my phone right now, which was. I want to give the dude a shout out because he's a. It was a really, really good review. So. Oh, there you go. Okay. So it's uh, Satchel, is it? Satchel saw the Snyder Cut. So it's um the dude's name is it's on Letterboxd, but go check it out, man. It's it's a fantastic review. Uh it's done by Satchel uh fifty one. So um if you guys want to see that review, go to Letterboxd and uh check it out because it's probably one of the best reviews I've seen um online there. So I hope he doesn't mind me using his name because I mean I'm I'm going by that. Right. I've been talking for too long, so let's just get into the, the video and uh the trailer and just see uh, how we go i'm going to talk over just in case i get like some sort of copyright strike i'm not used to doing this so if i hear any music i'm going to say shit over it so that you know it doesn't last longer than five seconds or so all right all right, all right look. So begins the oh dark side Stepping up was looking much better. Oh, there's Granny Goodness, the sad dark side. Maybe one. He's yeah. back. He's back. He's back, man. Back in black. Oh, that shot is lovely. Flapping capes. You gotta love it. Snyder does that so well. Oh. I need to bring us together. Wow. There are enemies coming from far away. I didn't think you could make Jason Momoa look any cooler. Oh, it's red now. That was purple in the in the Justice League. Zeus. Lantern. He said lanterns. Oh. It will fall in his name. Uxus. He goes, what a shot. <laughs> Ray Porter, bravo, dude. What did he smack destroy the planet? No, it's just a nice cut, I think. Oh, look, he's speaking, guys. He's speaking. What a shot! Never come again. Oof. 
fighting the devil and his army. Oh, mega beams! I don't care how many demons he's fought and how many hells. He's never fought us united. Look at that. <laughs> Aquaman with that. It's time. What? To stand. Fight. Wow, wow, it's Superman shot, man. Is that the stuff they brought Henry back in for? Is now. Just in case. Could be a bit loud. I hope I'm not too loud over this. Wow. Did, did I just see... Did I just see Mark Kent? With red eyes? Like, is she... Are, are we going full, uh, like, Smallville style here? Where it's, uh, you know, where Darkseid kind of took over people's bodies and minds and stuff. Or... <gasps> Martian Manhunter. Oh, stop that, stop that. I don't want to look at somebody else's videos. Shut up, dude. Okay, so let's kind of... Uh, I'm going to get done for that. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, man, jeez. Like, what the frack? I put it back up. Right. So points to take from that, man. Omega beams, awesome. Cape flapping, awesome. Batman looks great. Superman looks, he looks like really clean. Not a fake lip in sight. Everything about that is so clean. Uh, even um, Steppenwolf looking a lot cleaner and sharper. Not that there was anything wrong with it in the earlier. But you could just see where they've tidied up some of the images a bit. Um, because he still looked epic then. Uh yeah, I'm expecting good things from this, guys. I'm expecting um I think I think you're gonna see a lot more heart in this movie than than what you would normally see in a Zack Snyder movie. And I I I think with this movie he's gonna really show what he's about as a, as a director. I mean he's always been known for his slow mo shots and over epic action scenes you're still going to get those over epic action scenes but i don't think they're going to be as as um overused or washed out I, th I think they're going to have um specific uh moments to each character i think you're going to have um a lot of showcasing going on and i think there's going to be a lot of depth in this movie it's four hours he gets to tell a huge story and i think i think what you're going to see is that Zack Snyder is not suited to telling a story in an hour and a half to two hours. He wants to tell it all. Every story, every detail. So when people kind of question him on uh, whether he can showcase other things as a director, it's not, it's not that. It's just that he he's limited. He's got all the tools and he's got all the, the means to tell the story, but he's limited by, let's say, Warner Brothers this time or the executives who want to see people's bums on seats. They don't care that the um, that the movie is is awesome. They just need it to be awesome enough just to make the money. They just need to have the name enough to get your arse in the seat uh, and do it. And and what everybody has done in calling for Zack Snyder's version of this cut, uh, just like back in the day when people wanted to see a Donner cut, you know, um, what they've done with that is that they've shown that the fans are the ones that hold the power. The watchers are the one, the people that, those bums in the seats are saying that they're not happy with the execs. And now the execs have no power anymore when it comes to to stories being, you know, blended out. As long as there's a movement behind it. And with this release, the Snyder Cup movement, it's just been, it's just been a roller coaster from day one. I've been following everything on Twitter um, support where I can. I should be wearing my Justice League hoodie, but I'm not. I've got my black one, but I should be wearing it. But I just got, you know, I just finished gaming, so I, I got my uh, my T-shirt on uh, and finished streaming. Lads, this this was epic. Yeah, but um, you know, so the the devices have spoken. I'm hoping that there is going to be a two and three that you've seen, um, talk, talked about around the place. Uh, there's reviews coming out. I'm trying not to, to read too many of them, um, or bits and pieces you know because uh, i don't want to see any spoilers or or, or zero not that 
I mean, how, how could you really spoil a four-hour movie unless you spoil like, the, the ending, you know? Um, but in this, I'm expecting a lot of depth. I'm expecting every person's character to have some sort of backstory that it hasn't had yet. I think you're going to see a lot more of the Flash's backstory. You're definitely going to see a lot more of uh, Ray Fisher's cyborg story um, in this because... Uh, this movie kind of centers around him. He is created from a mother box. He's he's got to be one of the reasons why, you know, I, it's not going to be just like, oh, I know this dude. Let's go over here and find him. Do you know what happened in in the Justice League? It that I mean, it was just it was ridiculous setups, uh, and that you're going to find what you're going to see in in Zack Snyder's movies. You're going to see in, in this one. Oh, he's going to get time to sit, to tell a lot more of his story. Um, he's going to keep those action scenes as epic as possible. This is. I mean, this is going to hit be the start of his Lord of the Rings trilogy, pretty much, you know? So, I mean, this one's going to be four hours long. Maybe the next one won't be four hours long. It might be three hours long, but at least, no, they won't say, no, you better do it in two hours and give us what we want because I mean, it sucks for somebody who is as creative as Zach and wants to tell a story because he's been labelled as not being able to tell stories or, or having problems with delivering a story on screen but it's not that he's just been limited because his story is long every story he writes and and makes is long and he wants it all to be on screen and then at the last second he's forced to tie it down he's just like oh and the exact like yeah it'll just make sense and that's why he wants to just slightly make sense but to him it's not it's been it's been a hindrance to him um through all of this but the backing of everybody that followed him uh, or that that pushed for this um Snyder cut to be released, bravo, um, I jumped on that bandwagon uh, a couple of months into it and uh, just, you know, tried to support what I could, you know, t-shirts and hoodies and, and whatnot, uh, as much as anybody can, uh, being in Ireland, because we've, we've gotten real, really no say over here, we just kind of support and, and sit in the background, but uh, yeah, man, it, it, I, I, like, it's epic, I, I, the posters are all over my my computer screens here from what they released in the last few days but it's coming Zack Snyder's Justice League March 18th HBO Max since I watched it on the, the stream there please don't copyright me I'm just a fan thank you I just I there's no money to be made off of this I just want to you know uh, show my reaction as well as other DC fans I've been waiting for this my whole life you know I got, I got Superman right there and I got Batman hanging over there somewhere so yeah they're, they're all there there's the Joker and the, and the Batmobile. But anyway, um, yeah, this is going to be epic. Story-wise, you're going to see a lot more depth. I'm, I'm going over myself. I'm, I'm talking over myself again. I don't care. You're either listening or you've turned off at this stage. But yeah, there's going to be a lot more depth. You're going to see a lot more um, action introductions to characters. Um, you're still going to see, I mean, it's Zack Snyder, so you're still going to see random cuts in movies just like you were turning the page of a comic and it went to somewhere else and then back to somewhere else and somewhere else he, he kind of likes to throw that in there to confuse people or you know those that understand what he's trying to do will will get it but other normal movie goers will just kind of like why did that just happen you know so um yeah hopefully well I, listen guys thanks for stopping by and uh checking out my reaction um if if you like it uh my channel is not that create on youtube i'd like it to be bigger if i could um I, I like talking to people so you can catch my live streams i mostly do it on facebook at spider um you can catch me on twitch at irish spider guy and you you're watching me now on spider uh channel on youtube so uh yeah leave a like and subscribe you can hit the old bell i don't i don't throw stuff up too often except for live videos so you'd get a notification from that anyway if you were a subscriber so uh, i play a lot of uh, survival horror games uh, PUBG, and stuff like that but look uh, yeah it, i'd appreciate any more likes or uh, uh, and any more help in that regard yes here we go Zack snyder's justice league that's going to be fantastic i can't wait for this guys to be honest with you but yeah, again, leave a like, subscribe. Talk to you later. Good luck.